Hey man, welcome back to Forge Ahead podcast. Last week we launched into a three-part series about having a heart for your child. And today I want to talk about having a heart to encourage. You know, at the core of men is this idea that we need to compete, that we need to be constantly working towards first place or blue ribbons or being better than somebody else. And that competitive nature can often breed a pretty critical spirit. And I remember when my children were smaller, I was that guy. You know, that guy on the sideline that would yell at their kid because they weren't performing very well, or, or that guy when, a, when their child would bring home a report card, I would ask them why they didn't get a point higher. And I found myself being so competitive because I was selfishly motivated because I didn't want my child to be lesser than someone else's child. And so we as dads need to put away that, that critical spirit and find ourselves being men who encourage. You know, I find that in my life, the men who encourage me the most have a great self-confidence. They are firm in their identity in Christ, and so they're not afraid to encourage other people. And so we as dads need to find ourselves having that confidence in Christ so that we can be encouragers. You know, the Bible speaks of what happens when we don't encourage. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, Paul warns us, be careful not to provoke your child to anger. And if that happens, we lose ourselves and our ability to really connect with our child. Colossians 3 reminds us, hey, don't embitter your child. And so this week, as we're thinking about having a heart for your child, let's be sure that we're encouragers. Really practice your attaboys and attagirls. Find yourself not being critical over one little thing, but find one little thing that you can encourage your son or daughter in. It might be something as, uh, as little as writing a note to put in their lunchbox for school, or, or maybe it's something as big as having a date night or a little ice cream with your son, and you just spend some time pouring into them, encouraging them about what you're seeing in their life that is proving to be fruitful and good. So let's have a heart for your child by having a heart to encourage.